example 7, or sorry, 7, on example 11, notice we have two tangents from the same point. So that tells me these two tangents have to have the same length. So 7x minus 9 equals 5x plus 5. Well, then we can solve that, subtract 5x from both sides. And 7x minus 5x is 2x. Might as well add the 9 to both sides. And so 2x equals 14. Divide by 2. x equals 7. Then to find a to b, we're going to put two or 7 in for x. So I'll go 7 times 5 minus 9. I don't know why I keep on saying 5. It's 7. 7 times 7 minus 9. And that will be 40. 49 minus 9. Okay, we have a new term here. It's called a circumscribed angle. A circumscribed angle is nothing more than an angle formed by two tangents. And notice what happens. I get a quadrilateral here. So I know if I've got a circumscribed angle, my central angle and my circumscribed angle, they have to add to 180. Of course, they have to add to 180 because if I've got two tangents, I know Q and R are both 90. So that means P and S have to add to 180 because there's 360 degrees in a circle. A circumscribed polygon is a polygon that goes around the circle on the outside and it touches each side. So notice... I've got three examples here of circumscribed. I've got some examples not circumscribed because the first one, that's not tangent. In the second one, notice it's not tangent, doesn't touch there. And in the last one, it's not quite circumscribed because it doesn't touch the circles. They've got to be tangent to all the sides. So if we apply that on our next problem, I know the measure of angle G, or plus the measure of angle D, must add to 180 degrees, or 19x plus 9, plus 10x minus 3, must equal to 180 degrees. And since now we're just going to simplify that, and notice 19x plus 10x, that's 29x plus 6 equals 180, minus 6 from both sides, 29x equals 174, divide by 29 x is 6. Now I want to find the measure of angle D. So D is 10 times 6 minus 3 or 57 degrees.